Prison Architect is a game that's supposed to be about building a correctional facility, receiving felons, and penalizing and reforming them. That's not what this video is about. This video is about war. This video is sponsored by Paradox. I'm supposed to be showing you the new Natural Disasters DLC, but naturally, what could be more disastrous than making 1,000 people fight for their freedom? Inspired by my YouTuber friend the Spiffing Brit, who did a Prison Architect Battle Royale in an earlier video, what happens when we throw a thousand prisoners into a massive gang war while all of the new Natural Disasters DLC just makes everything worse? I, I get in trouble for that, don't I? For just shooting that man in the head. Before we get started on the prison, we need to hire a staff that will be able to accommodate all of this. 50, 100, 200, oh my god, it's like water, and 500. Now we're going to need a similar number of workmen to get this prison begun. And look what's happening to our finances. All right, I'm willing to be conservative. If we have this many people, they're going to need to eat, aren't they? I think that's perfect. A single warden in charge of everyone. She f four, just five of them. Can we get more? No, we can't. Psychology just just to study whatever happens by the end. There we go, 10 snipers, 10 dog handlers, farmers, not really for any reason, just because variety. A single janitor, a single gardener, one orderly, one doctor, and I'd say that's a good start. We've already made such a great investment in our staff, let's start buying land. There, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, we've expanded, expanded. making this mistake look Far less impressive. Oh, someone found a shovel. Hand it over, hand it over. I think that's a good conservative start. Let's see if we can crash my computer. I can barely see the entrance. They're sitting on it like it's the Berlin Wall at the fall. And we're going to need several gates because there will probably be a lot of resistance. That's a start. Now it's getting a little bit clearer to see who's... No, they are in fact still just drifting over the wall inexplicably. We need to make some space for our next building. This is going to be the holding cell. If that's 500 people and I need 1,000, we'll just make a conservative investment of $30,000. And oh, how about just one door. Will it build? And it does build. Impressive. I really didn't think that would work. A utility room very far away where it's safe. I, I think we've made the entrance too small. Ah, that's much better. Ah, oh, finally power. Why are they all just standing there with the logs? Menacingly. Let's put an armory just in the, m yes, just in the middle of the cell. Couple of staff rooms. And there we go. They're finally moving around with purpose, except for the leashes for these dogs are so outstanding long. Deploy one guard to that. Maybe two. Two. We'll get a break. One toilet in the middle of the floor. Pooping is shameful. That's right, we need to discourage it wherever possible. And I think we need one bed for this cell. In that arrangement, exactly. We'll just put the showers behind the guns. We also need food. There'll be a lot of people in here. Most of them won't ever get to eat any food. Power's on. I think everything's just about ready. We still have those 500 guards. This is just wild. There's no reason for them all to be in here. This prison loses $77,000 every day. Now then, let's commence our adventure. Bring on the prisoners. That should be enough guards to keep it quiet. I'm going to use this mod to just begin spawning them in. Wouldn't it just be wild if we put them all together? I enjoy the look of utter insanity on this man's face. Attempting to socially distance while people just teleport in from nothing. Look, there the guards all go. Hey, 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 no fighting. Not yet. Why is everyone getting naked? Oh dear god, the guards are just dropping like crazy because they're all legendary prisoners. We haven't even gotten them all in yet. No, we have to work faster. Oh, my wrist is very tired and 1,000. I should have just downloaded an auto clicker. Uh, we got a pretty even distribution, gang by gang. What do you know? Oh, this is terrible. We have a riot already and they haven't even gotten into the cell yet. I'm going to need to pause and hire more guards. We've already lost 66 guards. Most of them are just lying dead on the floor. Menacingly. Here we go. Automate mouse clicks. That's what I need. And we'll just set that. Now that's 1,000 prisoners and 1,000 guards. Watch how that number drops instantaneously. And the game's engine is not even phased at all. My god, I can't believe- That Jermaine just teleported- Oh, it's counting by multiple. How do we even make 
How do we even make sense of everything that's going on? What is this? Supply and demand. Is this the gang leader? It looks like he's getting tased. What is even happening over here? The number of guards is dropping much faster than the number of prisoners is. I'm going to pause the action for a moment. No, this can't be. I've been made a prisoner in my own prison. <sighs> Sometimes the extent of my genius and power amazes even me. I'm willing to admit that was a mistake and just move on with her lives. I've built a new prison that is contained. We have a thick perimeter wall on the outskirts. Ah, uh, this works much better. And we can just place those solitary confinement cells. We had a rat infestation. This man looks like a rat infestation. Now this is a prison that could feature some real gang warfare. If we just spawn in prisoners, we should get a pretty even distribution between the three gangs, red, green, and blue. We have a blue leader, a red leader, and a green leader. And since there's only one central room and meeting area, they should fight there rather than all getting cut off at the door. But I should have put in more than one door in front of the fight. Let's spawn in about 40 more prisoners just out in the middle of the floor. And if my theory is right, the guards take the prisoners off to their cells. And good, we're starting to get rats from the infestation. They're beginning to the electrical cables and good the gangs appear to be relatively evenly distributed and now we just shake them all down to get them annoyed that's right i want a good fair fight and uh, no scissors this is to be a f battle royale good we've already got a massive fight going and we've caused a riot now we of course just need to fire the entire staff especially the uh we can't fire the dead ones how dare you show up to work dead and now what happens Ooh, the blue gang is off to a really good start Clearly they used the shower to some effect. It looks like this guy got the keys. James Shopland. The blue gang has already got handguns. It's a legendary prisoner, but he has a gun. A nude guy with a hunting rifle has just taken the armory hostage. Will no one charge at this man with the handgun? To uncontrolled riot, the government is coming in. Oh, we've only had 73 deaths. Yes, bring in the government. Bring in the government, of course. I feel like we got a lot done today. Oh, so we get a second chance after that. Very good. Second chance, second chances. Now listen, I know that we've had a number of fail inopportune battle royale attempts, but they say the third time's the charm. If we just level the playing field, maybe we can get this one started off on the right foot. That's why I'm putting armory lockers everywhere in the main room of our prison so that this can be a good fair fight. We'll make That's right, we'll make it just like Texas, folks. It's only fair because we all have them. How do you think I break up fights between my own kids? Good morning, everyone. The old scissors trick, eh? The old pooping yourself trick, eh? Oh, how unfortunate. The guards seem to be getting the best of them. Well, I don't think that'll happen for long. Most of the prisoners seem to have gotten naked, which is very intimidating to this guard. And some of the prisoners have taken to the entrance. We're just going to block them in. No one can escape, except this gentleman is escaping, literally running down the block, buck naked. Who would ever guess he'd just come out of prison? We're just going to fire most of the guards. That way, the last few guards won't stand a match against the remaining prisoners. The prisoners will take the guard's keys, and then whichever gang has the most members left, they'll have the best shot at getting the guard lockers open, taking the weapons, and winning the prison. It appears to be a fight of buck-naked men fighting over a bunch of pairs of keys. Hey, no being unconscious at work. You're fired. You'll be hearing from me when you are conscious again. No, stop running away in the nude. All of this nude escape calls for a lockdown. This is just a naked man punching a metal fence. That's all I have to say I like that. Now I've unlocked it and he's he's still upset with the fence. It has insulted him by blocking his path. There they go. They're taking off their clothes and getting angry all together at once. Look, there the clothes go just right off of them. I still can't quite figure out why that happens. Oh no, that naked guy went into the kitchen. He's going to taint the food with his ween. Unfortunately, a lot of them still seem to be using fists. I know I could do a better job myself than this. I don't have to get naked to- Why is that- that man's hair is tattooed. He's so gangster. Well, let's find out who's in the lead. It seems like, yes, the green team is in the lead still. And here's the Natural Disasters DLC. Like I said, just making everything generally worse. There's a rat in the middle making this violent strip club even dirtier. Ooh, blue gang's coming back. But you know... I think I could do better. Well, I'm going to give the final one to the blue team because they have the most remaining uh, members. Well, building a prison hasn't gone very well, unless this was the goal that you had in mind. But what about being in it? 
So let's try to spawn him. Okay, the story is I've been arrested for jaywalking. I get what I deserve. Thank you, officer. I deserve that. I've been a bad man breaking the law. Here I go. And how hard could this be? Let's just walk into the armory and take a shotgun. Okay, shotgun and hunting rifle. Oh, there's also a taser in here. No, I think I'll go full lethal. Cards, I'm not allowed to do this. Is this okay? Oh, you're tired. Yeah, I probably wouldn't stop me either. I'll just be bringing this into the kitchen and damn it. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not supposed to be out here, am I? I'll just... <laughs> I'll just brandish my weapon in front of you while I'm being cuffed back to my cell. There must be some mistake. And where should I begin a riot? Do this and... Oh... Why would you try to fight someone like me? Have we at least begun a riot? I don't know why I'm taking out the other prisoners first. Why is this guard going? Priorities, man. Oh, damn it. Yes, go after the man with his shirt off, not me. At least I'm being appropriate while I'm murdering. Ah, good. Okay, I'm not on. Yes, quiet down, quiet down. I really didn't do anything that bad. All right, they've all given up. I guess walking halfway through the prison was too much for them. Oh, no, no, you don't. You won't get me. You won't get there. We are. I think I did that secretly enough. We'll switch over to the taser. No, no. Oh, oh, uh, okay. I would probably come after me if I were you. Let's just go up to people's cells and... Dude, you... I, I get in trouble for that, don't I? For just shooting that man in the head. Oh, wait, no, there was a rat over there. Oh, man. This doesn't mean solitary, does it? Okay, I admit that I was wrong. I never even got the riot to start. I'm upset now, too. I didn't even manage to get anyone else involved. I just was trying to make some friends. Oh, no, please not in here. Please not. Solitary with the door open, which I can do this for. Damn it. Ah, okay. Yep, I, yeah, I deserve that. All right. <laughs> I can't even skip time. All right, I'm just gonna... Well, at least I'm safe inside my mind. Big thanks to Paradox for the sponsor today. Go check out the Disaster DLC with my link, and I'll really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, I made your thanks to my patrons, who are also safe inside my mind. I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Until next time.